Welcome to the Streamline Technologies new release tutorial. In this video, we will provide a quick run through for each of the new features now available in ICPR version 4.07. But first, let's quickly review how to migrate a model forward. After you have installed the new release version, you will open ICPR 4.07 and navigate to File, Open. Select your project.i4p file that was created in, in an older version of ICPR4. After clicking open, a system message will appear asking if you would like to proceed with the model migration. Let's click yes. Another system message displays asking if you would like to create a complete backup. Clicking no will bring the model forward, but will not create a backup of the model in its original version. Let's click yes again here. The project backup is now complete. Open your file explorer to see the complete backup copy that includes the project.i4p and all subfolders. You are now ready to work on your project in ICPR version 4.07. Let's return to the folder that contains the project that we just migrated forward to ICPR 4.07. Here you see the backups subfolder. Each time you open a project, a backup copy of the project.i4p is automatically placed in the backup subfolder with the date, time, and ICPR4 version number included in the file name. With the new release, if your project.i4p file becomes corrupt or you need to return to a previous copy of your model, you will open this subfolder, locate the corrupt backup file, and follow the steps provided in the help menu showing how to recover a project. This new process does not replace your routine practice of creating complete backups of your model. You should always keep the entire project folder together, including subfolders, for a complete backup or project archive. Next, we'll return to ICPR to explore the latest tools and improvements. In Graphic View, you will now see new buttons to Refresh View, Fillet Polyline, and two options for moving graphical features that we will demonstrate now. The Smart Point Move tool can be used to move any individual 1D node or any other graphical point entity, including labels in map layers. When a smart move is used for 1D nodes, the tool will automatically adjust link endpoints for any links that were snapped to the node when originally drawn. The Move Selection tool can be used to move any type of graphical element. You can use this tool to move an individual item. However, if this tool is used to move a single point element, such as a node, it will not adjust link endpoints. Now let's use this tool to move a selection of multiple graphical elements. A window or a pre-drawn fence is used to make the selection. Any of the snap commands can be used to precisely move the selected items from a base point to a target point. This new tool is especially useful if you want to move an entire scenario after importing from another source such as ICPR3 or CSV files from a separate ICPR4 project. In addition to the new buttons, a copy parallel command prompt now allows you to copy a polyline or an entire polygon by clicking create, pressing Q on your keyboard, entering an offset distance, picking the polyline or polygon to be copied from, and then specifying the copy direction.
We are excited to introduce two new scenario tools for 1D models with this new release, the subset extraction tool and the difference tool. Let's start with the subset extraction tool. This tool allows ICPR4 users to create a smaller 1D model from a larger 1D model. This is particularly useful for those who are managing multiple large-scale watershed models with thousands of nodes and links in each. We'll begin with our existing conditions watershed model turned on in graphic view. This scenario will be refer referred to as the parent scenario. It's possible to engage the extraction tool either from the scenarios drop down menu, or if you would prefer to graphically select the nodes to extract, then you will engage the tool by right clicking the parent scenario from the data tree. First, you are prompted to define the region that will be extracted from the parent scenario. In this example, we will use a pre-drawn reference polygon that delineates the nodes that we want to extract. The extraction tool dialog appears. This list shows three nodes that we just selected for extraction. Once the extraction is complete, we can use the data tree to display the backup clone of the scenario, the broken parent scenario with the subset area removed, and the extracted, extracted subset scenario with boundary conditions inserted at connection points to the parent scenario. These boundary stage sets were automatically generated with the extraction tool and are based on the master model simulations. The engineer would now be able to quickly modify and evaluate site-specific alternatives. After making final design revisions, we will merge the modified subset back into the parent scenario by executing the subset merge tool from the data tree. Turn Scenario 1 on to view the master model with the proposed changes. After merging back into the parent scenario, all simulations should be rerun. For a more in-depth discussion on the new extraction tool, including how to re-extract using a larger subset area, please visit the Help menu. The last of our newest features to discuss is the Difference tool. This tool is used to compare different versions of an ICPR4 1D model. Notice that you can compare scenarios within a model or compare scenarios from two separate models. Let's practice by comparing the model scenario that we just modified with the original master model backup copy. First, engage the Difference tool from the Scenarios drop-down menu. 
The existing scenario always represents the baseline condition. Once the existing and proposed scenarios are defined, we can click the report button to generate a summary report. This report will show the additions, deletions, modifications, and duplicate entries of all 1D components and simulation records. By checking one or all of these optional boxes and then clicking report, a detailed report will be generated. This report will show all of the additions, deletions, and modifications following the summary report. This tool will be especially useful when an engineer has multiple copies of large models where differences need to be identified. It is possible to view these mod model differences graphically using the CSV export option and following along with the steps provided in the help menu.